Alright, two things to say before the video starts. Sorry for the background noise within the video. It is a bit noisy in the background, a little tiny bit. You won't notice it a bit too much, but... The second thing I want to tell is that with this, you, you can play any season. So if we go to season 9 soon, or whatever the next season is going to be, you can play that. It will update to every season automatically, just to clarify. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you how to get Fortnite Season 8 on Mac in Australia quite easy. This site is only really supported for people in Australia. I might make another one soon for ones in, in like America and other countries like that. If you, if you want me to do that kind of video, like the comment, like, like the pinned comment in the description, in like the comment section. But yeah, before we start, make sure to like and subscribe. I appreciate it if you all do. And yeah, let's get on with the video. Okay, before we start, you want to check how much megabits per second you get on your internet. So I'm just going to quickly press start on that. While it connects, you need to know that you need at least 15 for 720p at 60fps or 25 for 1080p at 60fps. But you, you can see since mine is just connected, I get around 100, just 100 and 110. Which is more than enough for me to run 1080p at 60fps. So once you know that your download speed is good enough for one of these requirements, you want to go open up a new tab and search up my.cloud.gg. This is the site that we're going to run Fortnite off. You can make this run as a like as an app, or you can do it on your Chrome like Chrome site. So you want to go to the sign in page and then just go to the create one. Then you're going to enter your email address. I'm just going to put my example email I made for this video. You're going to just going to put some fake uh, date of birth. Um, then you're going to put random postcode. Like that will work. Um, Alright, just to clarify something here. This is a username that you're making for the site and not for the app that or whatever that you're playing so this won't go to any app that you're playing whatever account you link up and what username's on there that you link it up to is what username you're going to play as all right entering the username well, my username is going to be like in sub for one dollar Alright, so then you just put in a username, I'm just going to say like and sub for one dollar. By the way, you should really like and sub if you haven't already. And I'm just going to put a random password in. And I'm going to do that as the same for the other one. Okay, so once you get a password up, you're just going to accept the terms and conditions. You're going to press continue. And then if you want to enable 2FA, you can, but I'm just going to skip that for now. But... So when it comes up to select the plan, if you really want to pay for your plan, you can. But the one we're just going to do is the basic free account. And you're going to have an hour play session, so that means you will have to restart it basically about every hour. So you're just going to click the little checkbox up the top here, and then you're going to accept the terms and conditions and activate it. As soon as you activate it, it's going to come up to the download section. You can do this on a Windows PC, Mac OS, Android TV, which I did not know you can do. You can do it on Android, you can, and the main ones we're going to be looking at is like the Chrome and Mac OS. And you can get it for Safari, but Fortnite is not counted as an app on there yet. Which I probably will do a video on if it comes out. So what you want to do is you either just press the play now. Or you download the file, which I'm going to do right now. So as you see, it's not too big of a file. It's only 212 megabytes. And then once it's downloaded, you're just going to click it to open it. Or you could have clicked it before to automatically open when uh, finished downloading. And then you're just going to drag the little application, um, drag this application to applications. I've already got it, so I'm just going to quickly replace it. And then you, what you want to do, you just want to either open up Finder and do it, or you like do like your F4 key and just press NVIDIA GeForce Now and open it up. And it's just going to come up this verify thing. Once that verify thing goes away, it's going to say, download, uh, this is an app download from the internet, whatever, you just press open. Okay, so once it downloads, it'll pop up with something looking a bit like this. I'm just going to quickly full screen it. Then you just want to press the login thing and it's going to log in with a browser tab so it's just going to put me over onto a browser tab. 
And it's gonna click this. Uh, you wanna click this pentanet thing. As it loads, it's just gonna automatically log you in. Then you just close that tab. By the way, just letting you know, Max kind of do not like games, so you probably will hear my computer going a bit of a fan mode. Okay, so once you have it downloaded and open, logged in and everything, you just want to go up to find your games and you're just going to search up Fortnite. And it's going to come up right there, Fortnite, cube or whatever. You're going to press play and it's going to say you need to connect your Epic Games account. So what you do, you just press connect and then it's going to open up a little thing for it to uh, want permission, then you sign in. I'm already logged in on Chrome, so I can just press allow. Alright, so then it's just going to say I'm connected. I'm going to close that tab, switch back over, and then I've connected my account, and then it's going to say connecting against Master YRT, loading, and then it's going to, and, and it should load up Fortnite. You might have a little bit of a queue waiting, because a lot of people might be trying to try this out, or try to play, since they can't really either. And now you see the little anti cheat things kind of popped up. And, and you can see on the top right here it says Command G. And that's how you can uh, do your GeForce now on the Mac also. If you want to record clips and all that kind of stuff. Alright, so now you can see I'm already just in the menu. I'm just going to quickly press play. I just loaded in everything you can see. There is uh, a whole bunch of settings that it does by default. Alright, so sadly enough, you're not able to put on performance mode. Like, if you restart your game, it's just going to go back to all these settings that you uh, are right here right now. So what I usually do, I just play like that, because that's how I play on my main PC right now. With these kind of settings. And then, um, let's just load up a quick creative game, for example. Alright, so we're just going to press play, and while we're loading in, I'm just going to quickly whip out my phone just to prove to you that this is all on GeForce now and not like some kind of thing. So as you can see at the very um, bottom right there, you can see the NVIDIA GeForce now just right at the very top, um, at the very top of the screen and stuff. Alright, so let's just quickly get back into our, uh, quickly back into our game, as you can see. Uh, moving around and everything quite fine. You will kind of experience a, a bit of FPS drop in it. Okay, so what I meant about the FPS drops is for the GeForce now, they have all like computer servers that they have set up with all kind of specs in it. They're not the actual good specs, so like it's Fortnite's not going off the specs that are inside your Mac, it's going off what it's on on its server. Depending if you pay for a higher plan, which you don't have to, they usually give you better stuff in it that you can play on. And you get usual better FPS and all that kind of stuff, but, um, yeah. That's why you always turn down the settings, so I'm just going to quickly load up a map and then we'll try it out. But what I like to do on this, I usually like to just set it down to 60 FPS because you really only have 60 Hertz on this laptop anyway. Unless you have the new MacBook Pro that's like just came out with like a little notch which kind of looks weird in the way. And they have 120 hertz things. So unless you're on probably one of those, I would not suggest putting FPS higher. Alright, so as you can see, I'm just walking around. I can easily um, edit and stuff. I'm really playing on uh, the touchpad right now, so couldn't really be bothered hooking up a mouse but um yes yeah. so yeah that's basically how you play fortnite on mac season 8 in 2021 even when there's updates coming out it will update to the newest thing for you and everything like that but yeah i'm probably gonna leave off the video right there so thank you all guys for watching make sure if you're already make sure to like subscribe turn on notifications and i'll see everyone and i'll see everyone later all right bye everyone